Hi, I'm Brian Barnhart with uh, Monster Energy Kawasaki. I'm the transport driver for uh, Ryan Villapoto and Jake Weimer. This is kind of my home for the next uh, eight to nine months on the season. Uh, come on in, I'll give you guys a tour of the rig. We'll come in the cab first and I'll show you where I sit and drive the truck and uh, kind of hang out sometimes. Uh, inside the cab is where I sit in the driver's area. Um, Occasionally some of the guys will drive with me, so they'll sit over here. Uh, I got a full coffee bar set up, refrigerator, uh, dinette, so if you want to do paperwork or some of the guys even come in here and hang out sometimes just to kind of get away. And then there's a bed up here if you want to use it, but we mostly stay in hotels, so. But it's, uh, it's kind of home away from home. It's an air seat, so when you're driving down the highway and the roads are real rough, you can adjust the air pressure in the seat so you get a little bit smoother of a ride as you're cruising down the road. Um, the thing's got everything, CD player, uh, satellite radio, and then all the controls you want to, to monitor the engine, to the trailer, everything. So it's pretty set up. We mostly actually, believe it or not, we sing to each other while we drive down the road. Me and Shane from 2-2 Motorsports, we, we pretty much drive together each weekend and we'll find a, a song on the radio and we just sing. I'll sing him a love song, he'll sing me a love song, we'll do a little rap. We mix it up here and there, just depending on how the night was. So is it good to uh, travel with, with like convoy, like with a buddy? So? Yeah, you don't want to get with like a big group, because you get a big group and then it's like someone's going to go pee. It takes eight trucks to pull over and find a place to park. So we try to keep in small groups as much as we can. But we do run into each other on occasion, but I mostly run with Shane. Uh, me and him have been driving together for the past couple of years, and then Big Ale that drives now for uh, James Stewart's motorhome. Me and him, it's normally like the three of us. All right, come on inside, and I'll show you guys the inside of the trailer, how we work, and, and what we do at the races. So this is our rider's area. Uh, each rider will have a TV, and they'll watch practice. Uh, Jake will have his, Ryan will have his and then they, they normally watch Speed or whatever, uh, whatever TV shows they wanna watch. Um, Ryan spins back here, he'll warm up, you know, before, actually he'll warm up in the morning, and then he'll ride again uh, before the heat, practice, and then event. Uh, back in the very back, that's where we keep all our tent supplies to, to put up our awning, um, our wheels. We have all our plastic, our subframes, and then each cabinet here, is a frame frame and swing arm. And then uh, we store some gas in here and then more spare parts are back here. Uh, this is our office. This is where we have our team meetings every morning. Um, Dan Fahey, our manager, and uh, he does all his work up here. Um, we do do a little bit of video review up here, but not a whole lot. Um, it's mostly just a, a lounge area a little bit and office. But it looks totally different than any part of the trailer, which is kind of different than most teams do, you know? That's the bathroom. They have a full shower. Ryan prefers to, to do his work right there and then leave the door open and then call me up for, for meetings, which is, which is interesting sometimes. Uh, but that's one of his favorite spots to hang out for sure. And then uh, down here in the middle is our slide out. This is actually where we build our race bikes during the week uh, at the hotel. Uh, both bikes will be down here and we'll completely rebuild them and service them. Uh, we have a coffee bar, um, which is a long story. We have two of them. And then we have a full uh, kitchen area where all the teams or all the crew guys eat. All right, so this machine here is Villapoto's. It's 3,000 bucks. This one here is ours. It's 900 bucks. He likes this one, but he owns that one. So he's right now trying to trade me the machines out. So he wants this one, and he wants to give me this one. But I haven't made up my mind yet. So I'm still, each week I'm working it out and trying to figure out which one I'm more happy with. But uh, I don't know. I'm trying to get a little bit more out of the deal than just, just a switch. So. Okay, how about the rest of your floors? Yeah, all of our hard parts are down here. Um, we keep all of our, uh, our spare parts, 
Um, everything's labeled and marked. Um, one of our famous drawers is our uh, titanium hardware, which is all the you know more expensive stuff that everyone likes to see and touch and feel. Um, but everything's labeled, marked. Um, if any problem occurs, we can fix it quick. Um, we keep our engines right here. For Supercross, each guy's got a spare engine. So if they do have a problem, they can just come in, roll this out, and grab their engine. Outdoors, we'll have two engines, two spares per guy. So, But right now, Supercross, it's one's enough, efficient. Back here is Kaipo's home. This is where he lives. Now he's leaving. That's Kaipo, our suspension guy. He does all of our service work. He's from Hawaii, technically Victorville, but it's a little gray line. Uh, uh, he does all his work right here, um, all of his service work. Um, he has all his parts, all his solvent tank, everything here so he can be completely efficient throughout the week. Um, he stores his suspension right here. Had the okay to open, bro. Forks? Just forks? Oh, okay. Teaser. Kaipo keeps everything labeled and nice and pretty. And so if he has a problem, you just pull this sucker out, make a change, and uh, go from there. On this side is our uh, engine department, we call it. Uh, our EFI guy, Theo and Rick Ash, they work here. Uh, they monitor everything on their laptops. And then if we do have an engine issue or whatever, they can bring the engine in here, check it out, see what the problem is, and then make adjustments. So back here is where we put all our gear guys so they can service the helmets and gear and all that. And they can put all their bags somewhere and kind of be out of scene from everyone. Watch this. So we have a tailgate tent. Um, a tent on our tailgate just to kind of keep people from stealing stuff. And, and now our guys, our service guys, can come in here and do their work. And, keep the helmets dry and clean and, and all that. All right, beat it. I gotta go to work, I gotta go video, uh, video practice. So I'll see you guys come to races and check us out.